All right, well, I caught a couple of fish on that 855 GLX rod and, and uh, I was real fortunate to get, to get a couple of these prototype of the NRX. This here is a, a step up, it's new to their line and they wanted me to kind of give them my thoughts. So they're biting the jig pretty well. So I was hoping that maybe I could do a little test action, let them know how it feels. I mean, so far it's got the sensitivity and you know, the NRX is just amazingly light. So, you know, with all the studies and research and, and lengths they go through to build the, the best fishing rod, you know, I'm sure this is not going to be any any different. It feels great so far, but let's see if we can't put it to the test. There's one. A little guy. Well, the NRX rod passes my test. I like it. That fish was out there deep too. First one on the NRX prototype on the Eco Pro Tungsten Jig. Just a little guy. He's fat. Sweet. There's one. Oh. And that one freaking freight trained it. It's a little better fish. Not really that good. And he smoked it. A little football. Really like those jigs, man. That's awesome. Another little, nice little chunky Lopez bass. I think I'm gonna try a spider jig. Sometimes, you know, just a little bit, still a jig, but it's a little bit different action, different material. So, you know, another little cool thing about these Loomis rods is, you know, when you have a bunch of rods on your deck like I do here, and you have different actions, different baits, you know, lighter baits, heavier baits. A real quick, easy way to do things is, all you have to do is notice, notice the thread count on the rods. Um, for example, this has one, two, three, four thread count. So this is an 894. Um, this one here is a solid line, solid bulky line, which is a five power rod. This one here is a three power. So it makes, it takes the guesswork out of it. In other words, you know, you're picking up this rod to see what's tied on and that rod. If you, you know, if you got your system dialed in, in other words, I got my, uh, my half ounce tungsten football jig with a spider grub on it on my 894. I look down, here's my four power. There's my 894, 894 rod with my spider jig. I'm good to go. I don't have to fumble around and stuff like that. The other cool thing about the Loomis rod is the technology they put into everything from the blank all the way down to the rod cap. Um, you know, this here is designed, you know, the JWR rods, it's got that kind of cap on there. And the reason being is you don't want something big and bulky down here and, you know, on a sensitivity type thing. So it fits against you, it's really comfortable to fish with. The crankbait style, which I have here, is a darker color cork and it has a flat surface on either side. And it's just, you know, it's real comfortable to fish with. You can hold it against your forearm, you know, on a longer butt. It, it fits really nice up against your side. It's not wearing you out. And now on the FPR, which is their flipping style rod, you got that nice rounded cork, which everybody knows, you know, if you have a sharp cork or, or a plastic end cap, whatever you have, and if you're catching fish all day and you're setting the hook, that's digging into your side and makes it you know, you get sore, you get cut up, which is a good thing because you're catching a lot of bass, but they, they put so much technology and um, detail into these rods that I never realized before. So it's really cool. Just this whole system makes it so much more efficient just to look down and be able to pick out which rod you want to throw for whatever you're doing. Oh, 
That's a little better fish, I think. I don't know. Either that or he's behind. No, he's coming. Freaking buried that thing, man. I mean, that fish bit so hard. A fat fish. Wow. You know, it's weird to me this time of year. Uh, like I said, you know, to start the day off, it was 52, 53 degree water temp. And, you know, in my, in my opinion, I, you know, I want to catch them going back into spawn and getting ready to spawn. But these fish out here are actually in like 45, 50 foot. And uh, they're not thinking about spawning now. I mean, that fish is cold. He's living out deep. But we'll try some shallow stuff, see if we can catch some big girls a little later. And another one on the Eco Pro jig. Not a big one, but and we're gonna catch a big one before the day's out. I promise you. <laughs> 